Well, hello, and welcome to Marty Plays Games. We are on the weekend stream, not the midweek stream. And we are taking a look at Park Beyond on the PC. Now, this is a tycoon game about a theme park. Some may even say similar to theme park. Or Rider Coaster Tycoon. Or Planet Coaster. We're going to have a quick look at the options on this one. But this is a game from June 2023. And it is a theme park simulation game. And it gives you the freedom to create and manage the parks of your dreams. Whether you love to manage finances, not especially, uh, and visit their experience, or just create fun and cosy parks, yes. The game has something in store just for you. Yeah, just for you. It has uh, mixed reviews overall, 6% of the users. I thought this was a good game, and recently very positive reviews, where 100% of the 12 people in the last 30 days thought it was good. So we have everything set on Epic here. We have Reflections on Epic and we have Ambient Occlusion turned on along with Contact Shadows. Um, whatever all of these do, we will find out I'm sure. We're playing this at 1440p, drop a full screen. Uh, you have Direct X 11 and 12 options there and some screen scaling options. Uh, we have cap frame rate at 120 and we are going to turn that music down a little bit more so we have uh, audio options here uh, for music speech visitors ambience user interface I don't know why music has to be so loud now, I thought this might be a full slider, but it's not. It's actually got it in uh, gaps, like apertures. We've got some camera options here. We're playing this mouse keyboard, so we haven't inverted the Y axis, even though that would be the correct way to use a pad. Plenty of options there for panning speeds and sensitivities. I've left these on default. We will see if we need to change those. I can't see anything that allows us to turn off screen edge scrolling. So hopefully we don't have that, because I hate that. We have some gameplay options there. We've got auto save turned on and it's we've got a cap on visitors. So I assume that is something to do with simulation. Because the more visitors you've got and the more things about those visitors that are being simulated, then the more CPU that is going to take up, the higher that number gets. Now, the level of simulation is one of the reasons that um, City Skylines 2 is... It struggles on performance once it reaches a certain level. Because they're just trying to simulate so much. Which is a, um, a laudable reason. It's just a shame that some of the performance issues that game has. And content issues as well, because yeah. I mean we're not playing we're not playing City Skyline, so let's not worry about that too much. We have some localization stuff there. And we have some accessibility options with UI scaling, input prompts, and subtitles, and color vision deficiency uh, stuff there. If you have those problems with your eyesight, which is nice to see. So we have a campaign mode and we have a sandbox mode. There's some community content stuff. And other than that, exit game. Uh, we do have Facebook links there, Instagram, Twitter. I'm going to call that what Musk wants us to call it because it's stupid. Uh, and a website link there by looks. 
I think there may be some DLCs for this as well by the looks. These are DLC stuff. We're just playing the vanilla game here. So we're going to start the campaign. When it eventually loads. Didn't I turn this down? Safe for now. Yeah, you're just going to thread out of the window, are you? And pollute things. I'm pretty sure nobody's walking away from an accident like that. Hey, you hit me! Would have been even cooler if it had exploded into confetti, but still, great shot! Yeah, how did that suddenly grow in size? Okay, um, let's... Oh, we can't actually get to the options now, which is great! I like it when a game locks you out of being able to get to the menus. That's my favourite thing. We could have just had a skip button there, couldn't we? That would have been nice. Right, now we can get to the menus. You know. Seriously. Audio, do we have? No, we don't. So they just decided with those um, cutscene videos that they're just going to play it at whatever volume they like and completely ignore the options that I've set. Yeah, very, very annoying. Right. So we need to... Open the help center in the upper right corner. Why? Why? Uh, why do I want to do that? Select branch, 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 branch. Which branch? Why is that suddenly gone at like no miles an hour? What is going on? Have we paused it somehow? What? When you zoom right in, for some weird reason, the scrolling is just like nothing. Right, um, I'm not sure exactly what it's wanting us to do it. Open the help center and select the coast to build in help screen. Why do I need to look at that?
Where is the panel? What what panel? What panel are you talking about, game? Like what? What? Fucking hell! This game is pissing me off already. Oh, this is the menu here. I think this is actually a panel. It is. It's just we can't actually see any of the icons on it. Great design. <sighs> now we can see him. And yeah, did did nobody actually notice that you can't see the icons? Um So I think we're going to go this way, aren't we? Yeah, let's let's just go all the way around here. I quite like in the the track layout, so that's quite nice. Uh, build to reach the paper plane at the basket or course, right? Well, we're going to go all around the houses, I think. Apparently he doesn't want us to do that. Curve tracks. Heart Beyond has many tools to help you build your dream roller coaster. One of the first steps to learn how to create a curve track. Um you can do this by just in the yaw of the track with R. With R? With, with, does it mean the key R? It must mean the key R. And then... What? Moving the mouse? It's not very clear, is it? I think it means rotating... I think it means doing that... Yeah, so you can do it that way. Well, it's not obvious what the track's doing. Your, so we've got your. What the hell? Where is the paper plane? There it is. friend I suppose introductions are in order I'm not Blaze. really we can Blaze skip to Ultra. the end if you like I know I know it sounds weird ultra wasn't my birth name no really megatronic what you should have gone to deed ball ask blaze a question and none of these things interest me oh you can help me build my dreams. You betcha. Anyone can have a dream. What makes it special is making them happen. And I have a special talent for making things happen. Okay, it's usually accidents, but they're almost always the fun kind of accidents. Like when you walk away before the vehicle explodes. Or meeting you. I do a lot of wild and crazy stuff, but I've never seen anything quite as out there as your roller coaster designs. And I like it. You know, the more I think about it, the more I think our meeting can't be a coincidence. I mean, coincidences happen all the time. But it's no fun if you don't pretend they mean something. Tell you what, you've just been deputized. Phil Bailey wanted me to test these roller coaster modules Cloudstorm are developing. 
but he didn't tell me how he wanted me to do it. You've heard of Cloudstormer, right? Great company. Not doing so great lately. That someone with your vision would have awesome ideas about how to use the stuff Bill has thought up. Am I right? Don't look at me like you've got a choice. You know this is happening. Let's see what you can do with some serious roller coaster kit. Yeah. Let's go. We can shift up with the heights. Where is the plane gone? Can anybody see it? Build to reach the paper plane. Is that it? Is it right in front of us? I think it might be just there. Look. Good. Um. Changing the height. Left shift. Chain lift. Tracks are colliding with other structures. The test train. To complete your next objective, the test train needs to reach the paper plane. You can control the speed of the test train via the test train panel on the right. Um, go on then. Well, there's the right. In front of the hospital. I don't want, I want just one normal track now. We're not uh, yawing anymore, are we? Oh, maybe we were. Right, so we better go back to chain lift and try and try and lift up the. Train somehow. Why is it up there? What is going on? That's not where I've got my cursor, is it? Doing it. We've got chain lifts there. 
Alright, can we skip over this? Because this is just pissing me off now. Um, let's go to the main menu. Let's just do sandbox. Exploration Park. Continue playing. No. I wanted to continue playing, not how the tutorials pop up annoying me. Right. Oh, we can see the icons now. Flat rides, roller coasters, shop facilities, modular structures, scenery, terraforming, and path placements. So where is our entrance? There's our entrance. What is that then? This seems like a good space for some shops. Shops offer a variety of items to fulfill your visitors' needs. So we want food, drinks, and souvenirs. Seems fairly typical of this type of game. Let's. I think we need a path though, don't we? Otherwise... Well, we've, we've, why have we got a whole load of tracks still? Like half baked. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, I just wanted the sandbox, and you've got all the stuff. What? Well, I don't want it curved. Why? Why are you making it curved? Outside the display area. Too much path overlap. Why is it so complicated? Right, that's linked to it. Oh, I don't think we can go up. This is outside the play area, apparently. And that's outside the play area. Alright, fine. I don't really care. Let's put in some shops. Shops. We're going to have... It's a hot dog shop. I mean, you've got a search bar there. So if we search for hot, which is great, but I mean, unless you actually know what these things are, then there's not really a lot of help. I think we're going to go for a taco shop. Three hundred quids. Seems quite cheap for a taco shop, really. Uh, I think we should have some drinks as well. That looks drinky, doesn't it? No, oh, it says a patisserie. Seafood. Delicatessen. Hot dogs. Ice cream. Pizza. Candy apples. So we. Oh, okay, look, we've got more up here. Those are all food shops. We have drink shops as well. It's weird, because looking at that, that looked like a um, a cup, so I would have sworn that, that was actually a, a food place. Oh, and a coffee shop. Absolutely not a coffee shop. And as long... Because we've got coffee. Well, let's have some mineral water. I mean, I don't, I'm not entirely sure why a coffee shop can't also sell mineral water, but apparently they cannot. So we're going to have one of those as well. We'll have vending machines in case people don't like... Because not everybody likes having to deal with a shop assistant. You know, they just want, sometimes just want to put their, uh, their money into a vending machine. So we'll have one of those. And drinks. Excellent. We'll just let these five people scrap it out. 
And we also want souvenirs. A balloon shop. Bloody hell, why is that so massive? I mean, all balloons are, it's filled with air. What? 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 What have you? Why have you done that? <laughs> I would say this game is quite buggy. It decided then, for some bizarre reason, to. Behave as if I'd clicked outside of the game window. And it then put the screen into a quarter of my monitor screen. And when I clicked again, exact same place, it decided it was going to make it full screen again. And I zoomed out, clicked in the same place again. Absolutely fine. You're not doing terribly well, Part Beyond. So, we have a ride here. Might have, visitors cannot enter this ride. Make sure it has an entrance queue and an exit path. Good. So, is that going to be in path placements, do you think? Queue paths, there we go. We can have different sorts. I quite like or the rainbow one that isn't rainbow coloured. Yeah, it's rainbow coloured now. What about... Um, exits. Are they entering and exiting on the same. Attach an entrance and an exit path to the flat ride. Should we try a normal path for the exit? Ah, there we go. So, for an exit, it just needs a normal path, not a queue path. That's fine. Good. Well, given they can't go up there, they're going to have to walk past my shops again to get out. And buy things. We have another icon here. This seems like a good space for a new flat ride. So, flat rides. And we have quite a few rides, that's quite good. Um, oh, we don't have a thing in there. Prefabs. Rides that are appealing to teens. Rides that are appealing to families. Rides that are appealing to adults. I want a Colorado. Oh, alright, well we're not having one of those then. Because I ain't gonna fit. We've already got one of these sort of things there. It doesn't really give us an idea of what they look at, look like until we click on them, which I find a bit... Uh, yeah, a bit disorienting, D disorienting, troublesome, I don't know. Because you can't really get a feel for how big they're going to be. I mean, you'd think that that was going to be absolutely massive, but it's not. What about that one? See that? That tiny! But when you look at it compared to that, you'd think it was bigger, wouldn't you? Oh, very strange. A ring of fire. Oh, yeah, let's have a ring of fire. Can we rotate this? Mm, no. Oh, we can move it up and down though. We can put it underground though. Out of bounds. 
We can put it underground, because that's apparently that's not out of bounds. I wonder if we can actually place it there. Should we try? Um, how much cash have we got? We can actually place it underground. Wow. Who knew? Our new, our new ride. We're going to have to do a path with a tunnel under the grass. Yeah. I think maybe the detection of where the placement of the rides is is not 100% in this game. We'll do a normal path and we'll do a cube path. Great, there we go. So we've got our cube path to the ride. Uh, let's see if it's going to let us open it. The check list must be completed to open the ride. So what have we not? Uh, still, still reckons. And the key pad. Destroy. I think we'll destroy that. Can we destroy that as well? Yeah. Good. And I know that we were trying to break the game there, but even so... That ain't good. Um, I want a pirate ship now. I wonder if we can... Yeah, so... So you could have it half in there, half underground, or the way up there, look. An object is in the way, right, we can build an entrance for it now, Good. and an exit. I quite like that, you can just click on entrance and exit on the... Uh, on the ride itself. And it selects what you need to drop down from the menus. So has that auto opened it? I think it has. And um, queuing time is zero. Well, that's, that's pretty good. Amazement, only one star though. Well, what do you spend as a pirate ship? At least we can get people getting to our path. Maybe we should we should put in a, um, a shortcut for people. That might be handy. Um, it's too close to another path. But apparently if you make it closer, that's absolutely fine. I think some of these error messages don't make an awful lot of sense. Remove from map, yeah, I want to remove that mark, so don't need that anymore. Um, that one, we can... This just cannot enter this ride, why, why can't they? Replace. New area locked. Remove. Can we can we actually go in here now then? Oh, maybe we can. So those were um, little jobs that we need to do. We've got all red ones now. I think this is the area that it's opened up over here. 
Without being connected to the parts, visitors won't be able to. Yes, let's um, continue and join the pub parts then. Now it's joined. And what's wrong with you? You can zoom right in there, look at that. It almost looks metal. Somebody likes their bass guitar. Oh no, it's got a night cycle. So now we can't see what's going on. I'm not sure that's completely necessary in a game like this, but uh, okay. Maybe we ought to plonk some lights down here. Can we do that? Let's see if we can do some lights. Scenery. Effect emitters? No, prefabs. Foliage, rocks, deco, and everything. All right, well, let's try tapping the lights on here and see what we get. Ah. I don't quite tell why I'm placing that. Ooh. Ooh. What an ineffectual light. One would think that they would be brighter than that, wouldn't you? A magic root lamp. Yeah, well they're not doing anything. Screen light. Modern spotlight. Stage light. A skull lamp. Oh, oh, that one's a bit better. I'm still not convinced by the... Um, Area of lighting. That, that'll do. Hopefully, this night cycle's not for too long. So, right, let's see what's wrong with this then. Tends to be working. Visitors can get nauseous, especially after riding more extreme flat rides such as the nearby Fire of Ring. Toilets can cover, cover some of that. You can also hire staff that specifically target visitors in need. Paramedics dealing with nausea. Uh, let's um, hire a paramedic then. So, staff, art management, staff hiring, there we go. I think we should get a janitor, a mechanic, a paramedic, and an entertainer. We've hired all of those. Good. Remove. Uh, do we actually have any toilets? Now that's a dry bush. You definitely don't get those after going to the toilet. Maybe we should plunk some of those down. Where were our... There are our drinks places. Now I think here would be an excellent place for our toilets. They're going to come under shops and facilities, I should think. Benches and trash cans. Oh, we don't have any uh, cash. Oh, we ought to put a staff. Oh, well, there's a basic toilet. 
and a luxury toilet. Let's have a luxury toilet. And service facilities. Staff lounges. I want one of those as well. We'll put that right next to the bogs. Good. And look. Cool. And flesh. I think that's actually fresh. Oh, we went with it. Bit close there. Can we go inside? Yeah, I imagine. With it being so dark inside there, the floor's going to get rather messy. It's a good job we hired some cleaners. Fine, we've got toilets, we've got staff. We'll meet from there. Um, now what? The more rides you have in the park, the more visitors are willing to pay at the park. Well, let's put another ride down then. I mean, I think we we don't have any money, but it doesn't seem to be stopping us. We are impoverished. Impossified. And we're in the red. That's okay. It's gone dark again though. I wonder if we can... I didn't see any options for turning off the day and night cycle, so... So I don't know. Uh, park management. Entrance at the park is free. The rides we like are closed. Well, the presentation is not bad in this game. Overall. Mind staff members need to take a break. We, yeah, we've, we've done that. We've got to do another one, have we? Facilities. Lounge. Staff lounge, another one. Remove. Good. This one. Place one flat ride relished or loved by teens. Families, teens, there we go. Uh, we want a vortex wing, a wheel of love. The structure is currently being subsidized by the Motion Sickness Compensation Fund. Well, I think we're going to have that then. Because, um, why not? Oh, come on. No, not you. You. Um, how do we rotate this? Cycle precision. Oh, there we go. That works all right. Um, we're going to place you there, and we need an entrance. We need an exit. Andy. A ride of love is lived by teens. We have to solve 11 of the challenges. Is that 11 left or um, or what? Because I'm not seeing 11 squares now. 11 markers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can only see 7. I guess we've done 4. Uh, hmm. well, well, we'll leave that one for now. Whenever your visitors are within the park, they should always be able to satisfy their needs. 
toilets is one of them. Build at least three more toilets, two remaining. They were under facilities, weren't they? Yeah, so. Um, a western. Let's have a basic toilet this time. Basic one there. And a luxury one. Over here, I think. Yeah, I wasn't like, it doesn't matter to put one there. So let's put it here. There we go. Hooray! Next item. The longer this to stay in your park, the more energy they lose. Build at least five additional benches. So they were under scenery, I think. Bench. No? Maybe they were under facilities. Ah, that looks like a chair, doesn't it? No. Bending machines. Hmm. None of those look right. Benches. We found benches. Good. What kind of bench do I like? I think just a western bench. One there. One there. Oh, and it's surprising. These benches are 50 quids. And yet these rides were only 300. Then there's something distorted about the price in there to me. Um... And I think they they should have some by the vending machine, shouldn't they? There you go. Lovely. Rides and shops need to be maintained. Hire another mechanic. That's staff mechanic. Yay. Visitors' cleanliness rating is, among others, influenced by how much litter they encounter. We need bins. Bins is what we need now. They were under facilities. I'm pretty sure we saw those. They're only 10 quid. That's good. And I think we definitely need some of those near the shops. Especially near the vending machines. Where were our vending machines? Um, ah, there they are. So let's put those next to the benches. Fantastic, and we'll have one there. And one there. You can never, never have enough bins, I think. They're great for when people want to take photographs, and then they just have to clone them out. Good, so we've cleared that one out. Move. Uh, we've got two of these markers left, I think. That one and that one. No, that's a trash can. I want the marker. This does cause a lot of lit. No, we've seen that one. Janitors. We need one more janitor. Staff. Whatever you say, mate. Um, oh, remove that as well. Yeah, so just this one to sort out. And that's going to come under part management, I think. How do we change it, though? Oh, those are opinions. So maybe it's under finances. Ba, 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 ba. No. Shops and rides? No, these are just info screens. 
Um, traps and finances then. Night. No. Alright. Let's see what that has to say. More on park entry fee. One, yeah, okay. Just tell us how to change it then, please. The park entry fee tutorial doesn't actually tell us how to change the park entry fee. Maybe we have to click on the park entrance. Let's try that. It'd be nice to actually say on the tutorial bit there to change this. Click on the entrance. That would be useful. Yes, there we go. There it is. So let's just make it a dollar. It's not too much, but it'll bring us income. And we'll just change that. Why aren't you... Oh, we've got to earn 500 quids. Alright, let's make it 500 quids then. Um... This is lost since last fee change, none. So let's put that up to. twenty five. See if that puts them off. And if we speed up time. And if it doesn't put anybody off. Oh, it's put eight people off. You'd think, after coming all this way into the middle of nowhere, though, that they'd pay it anyway, just so they didn't have to waste all that money on fuel, which is probably a lot more than 25 quid. Given the cost of petrol at the minute. Unless, of course, nobody's coming into our park now. The only rides we like are either closed or not reachable. We won't enter the park. We won't pay that much to enter the park. How is that not reachable? Shall we, shall we, shall we um, do some paths over there? That's reachable now. Surely. Can we join these up as well? We can't. Right, I think we're going to need to turn that down then. Let's change that down to $18. See how that goes. Anybody new coming in? No. I think they're all going away. Alright. Let's change it to $12 then. No. $10? Nine? Come on. It's got to be worth nine. Not even worth nine. Seven dollars fifty. Come on. They want the moon on a stick, these people. Five quid then. You little shits. You don't even know a bargain when you get one. Uh, 
Uh, we could try putting another ride down. See if that helps. It's a modest start to proceedings, but at least our visitor numbers are heading in the right direction. Although we'd be hard pressed to go in the wrong one, all things considered. Who are you? My bloody part, sod off. Um, are we getting people coming in now? Profit in the last 30 days, none. Let's try another ride. We're gonna have a family ride. Teacups! Who doesn't like teacups? Oh, we've made 500 quids then. We better join these paths up so they can get in. Oh. I was going to say we've... I don't understand this pattern. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Ah. Now we have fire in this area. We can join these paths up there. Let us do that. That's all joined up. Each visitor group only has limited amount of cash on them. ATMs. That's that's a good idea. Get more money out. I think that's probably going to be under facilities. Um, kebab shop. No. Services. So that's a staff lounge, toilet, toilet. Bat shops. No. Tacos. Service buildings are these one of these, you think? No. ATM. That's a demolish, that's paths. Right, no, it's not in there. Gotta be under there, isn't it? Surely. ATM. Ah, there we go. Under vending machines, of course. I always think of ATMs as a vending machine. I suppose they vend cash. Let's have a large one. Let's have it in the hidden in the trees so nobody can see your pin number. Right near the shops, I think it makes sense to have an ATM. An ATM up here. And an ATM over here, because... Oh, that area is locked. In that case... An ATM there.
Entertainers. Oh, we need entertainers. I thought we'd hide one of those. Place at least three entertainment points across your park for entertainers to perform on. Entertain. Yeah, there we go. That's an entertainment point, apparently. One, two, three. Let's put one near the shots just to encourage people to. Oh, and one near the entrance, I think. Actually, two near the entrances. Good, I think that's enough, isn't it? Yes. I think this is actually quite a good way of explaining things in the game. Seems to be a great area for a new roller coaster. Since the flat ride nearby is already targeted families, uh, we may need to place a souvenir shop. Good plan. What about that one? The roller coaster is missing some track se segments. Okay. Um. So how do we start tracks then? Before it was just clicking, wasn't it? Hooks, financials, players. Perhaps if we click on roller coasters. Maybe that will explain track placement. You can enter track placement from the menu or by selecting an incomplete stretch of track to build on. Well, we just did that and it didn't do anything. Um, track follows your cursor. That wasn't very helpful, was it? Let's try placing another one down then. A standard coaster.
Um, let's see. I want to do a chain lift. Okay, I think that's good. Normal track now. Can we do a can we do a, a curve as well? I wanna do a twisty bit. How can we do a twisty twisty track? Left alt. Ah, that's what I wanted, yeah. And... Twisty like that. It's difficult, it's really difficult to get a feel for where that track is going. Um... Straighten, there we go. I think that is our very, very basic roller coaster. We might need a braking section, perhaps. Let's make that a break. That should slow him down. It works! Uh, so now we need entrances. What, what are hooks? Yes, I want to construct it. Build entrance. hooks. These, there are no working hooks. At least one hook is selected and working. Um, lift hill. Is that it? Yeah, okay, so there we go. That is working now. Um, remove the map. So the only thing we haven't been able to work out then. Why why? Why is why is the camera not working now? All of a sudden the camera's decided it's gonna go weird. This game is definitely not without its issues. Did I change the camera somehow? I don't know. I think I must have done. So the only thing we haven't worked out is how to change the uh, the the, um, the track. I just need to click on that. 
You see, it's not it's not obvious, is it? How we how we do that? Because it said it's supposed to put things on there, but to extend it, but I can't actually see anything to click on. Maybe something really obvious that we're missing. I don't know. Rename. Oh, edit right maybe? Ah, oh, there we go. Well, it didn't tell us that. And those little instructions. I think we just need to join this. Up to that somehow. <laughs> Yay. Right. Uh is that all joined? Have we got a complete track now? I think we have. Are you going to make it all the way around? Can we see some fireworks, please? Yay! Right, so that works. Yes. It's closed. Why isn't it open? Working hooks. To the moon! Yeah, look at that. We are now the experts at this game. So. I don't think it is as good as Planet Coaster. But. Once you get used to the track placement stuff. Or well, once you you do get used to, it, I think this won't be too bad. It obviously has a couple of bug issues, such as being able to put rides under the ground, and the game not going there. Uh -uh, you can't do that. Um, so that was kind of weird. I'm not sure I like the day night cycle, but I think possibly we can turn that off. Uh, I don't want to freeze time. But we can just do that, uh, and I think we can just stop stop the time at midday by the looks of it. So if you don't like that day-night cycle, you can turn it off by the looks. That's good. That's good. I like that. And I do like the variety of rides that you've got available to you. And I do like that you can build your own roller coasters in quite a reasonable way. And it looks quite nice. And I do like the way that um, some of these tutorial tips are, are done with the, with the different things that you click on them. So, I mean, I think overall, I've got a fairly positive impression of this game. It does sell for 40 quid, but actually you can pick this up for less than a tenner. And I think that I paid £7 for it. And I, I couldn't really grumble at paying that sort of money for this game. I definitely think you're going to get £7 worth of entertainment out of it. But that is all from me for today. I should be back again tomorrow with another game for my pile of shame. Until then, I hope you have a pleasant Saturday and I shall see you later.